Hey y'all, come hang out with me in my farm or garden, whatever you want to call it. Today I will be harvesting some um, peppers and probably planting for the fall. We'll see. I'm not sure if I want to start seeds or get some transplants from my local nursery. Also, I have some new chickens because sadly a fox had um, gotten a hold of um, all except for one of my uh, chickens to include two of my roosters. So I have some newborn, well not newborns, they uh, were purchased coop ready. So I had them locked up and pinned up so no, nothing else can get a hold of them. So let's go check them out, feed them and water them. Let's go. Okay, real quick. Uh, yeah, you can see me. Just a quick shoe change from this, from these to these. Okay, so we are inside and um, I have some food with me to put in their uh, little feeding dish and I'm going to let them out and uh, then I'm going to refill their water container. So I'll probably let them stretch their legs out while I refill the water container and then determine how I feel. I'm really gun shy about letting them roam around a little bit, but at least they'll get some exercise now. So let's see how this goes. Hey, okay, you guys have some water. Let's pump some of this out a little bit. Here's their food. Hey, chickies. Hey. Ah, I don't like the way it smells. Okay. So I don't think they really want to come out. I don't, I don't know if you can see them in the back. Yeah, they were hungry. They're ready to eat. Let me see if I can get some footage of them pecking away at their food. Here they are. So this one right here was lemon drop. The one, uh, lemon drop. She's getting, she's the one getting cornered right now. She was the only survivor. And I call her lemon drop because she had a yellow head. Don't be scared, sweetie. But she um, was found way in the back near my husband's shed. Her chest hair, well, the feathers on her chest were pretty beat up, pretty bad. And, um, but she looks like she's recovering. I didn't want to leave her by herself too long. So I got some friends for her. So I'm happy. And it seems like she's doing really good. The feathers appear to be coming back. So they're not anxious to come out, so I'm not gonna force them to come out. They still have plenty of water. So I'll just take this container and put it in there and they can drink and drink and drink all they want. There. Right. Now, usually I would love to do this like on a weekend because I'm only off on the weekends or if I take a day and I would love to do this during the morning. I am getting destroyed by mosquitoes at this point. It is about uh, 10 to six right now. And if y'all see, I'm not being gross. I'm not trying to be weird, but I am itching. But I know I need to get out of here and at least try to harvest some stuff. Um, there's a lot to do. I would like to say I keep a neat garden, but I don't, meaning one area where I was sitting to put my shoes on, it was pretty last year, but now all the grass is just going, growing through and it looks a disaster. I've received some crates, some plastic crates from a coworker that I want to put some soil in and grow flowers out of those crates. I've become 
more of a hoarder if anything like i'll show you guys around i have a storage bin full of um water jugs and pots i was going to fill the storage bin up with soil and plant in it i didn't do it yet here we are in august this tote has been out since april <laughs> but it'll get done well anywho let's see if i can prop us up in a good spot and you can kind of see where i'm harvesting some peppers and kind of get a glance of my trellis area so this uh matter of fact let me just show you really quick we have um i don't know if you can see some uh thai basil tomato plants and i need to grab some tomato and okra that i had started from seed very recently from an okra plant from last year so i'm excited to see it grow uh, i think that's another tomato that i, I had um What's the word I want to use? I had cut a Paul Robeson limb off a branch, put it in water, it grew roots, stuck it in some soil, bam, there we go. Tomato and marigold, the tote I was telling y'all about, sweet potatoes, zinnia and uh, grapes. That was blue corn right, oop, right here. Uh, blueberries and some other stuff. So anyway, let's just go ahead and harvest and I'll show you everything that I have. Okay, at this point, I think I'll put you guys on a time lapse. Um, you see, I have some stuff behind me. That's burgundy okra. And I have butterfly bush, some okra right here, some peppers all around, and uh, some more peppers this way, peppers over here, uh, and stuff. So. I'm just going to put it on a time lapse and I'll show you all the harvest that I've gotten. So hang tight. All right, so I had a very, um, a decent, I'm not gonna say minimal, a decent size uh, pepper harvest. Here, I have my tomatoes that, oh, I wanna grab. I didn't trellis these or anything. I just let these tomatoes do their thing in terms of if y'all wanna grow up, you can grow up. If you wanna grow sideways, you can grow sideways. This year, I ignored a lot and um, I got pretty decent results. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to stress out about a lot of my tomatoes. Now I'll show you another area in my garden. I'm going to just pull these. I'm not going to use my shears. I want to show you this really quick. Um, I'm going to try to turn it around, but I'm already making plans for next season. Oh, what I want to do. And if you don't mind commenting down below your suggestions or opinions or hey i got a great idea but i'm gonna show you this bed let me see if i can stand in a better location so i can see this is my uh raised bed back here that i had built yeah last spring and uh right now i have some tomatoes some more tomatoes uh <laughs> Some of these tomatoes were given to me by my friend as seedlings. Uh, and, I, and I had a lot of seedlings, so I just threw them anywhere. Get in where you fit in, fine. 
last year I had mustard greens and some squash. I am giving up on squash at this point. I have been attacked by um, squash bugs and squash vine borers. But um, I'm thinking about making this next season. I love corn, okra, and tomatoes. So next season, I really would love to make this my corn, okra, and tomato bed. Let me know what you think. Now we're going to walk to this side. If you look at an old video that I posted, my last video prior to this, I had uh, gotten a tiller. My dad had uh, cashed at me some money because he knows I'm into this. And I said, well, I wanted, I would like to have a tiller so I can clear out an area in my backyard and make that a new garden. So I got the tiller, super excited, tilled away. And I never followed up with y'all. I don't even think I posted. I posted a video after that, but it's still on my phone. That's what happens with me a lot. I'll get excited about something. I'll talk myself out of it. Oh, nobody's gonna watch. Nobody's gonna, and I'm not like simping or nothing like that, but I just talk myself out of everything. I tell this to my sister, I need to stop doing it. She encourages me, but I'm my own worst critic. I beat myself up a lot and but I look for YouTubers like me just regular people doing regular things if you will like there's no lights camera action or nothing behind it I just but I do like the pretty pretty videos too but I also like to support the regular folk <laughs> anywho so this is the area that I tilled let me this tell you what it looks like I have things in here that I have planted intentionally and things that were planted unintentionally. These, and mind you, a lot of the uh, flowers that you see here are sponsored by clearance racks. The only thing I paid full price for were the seeds for the um, edibles, but any floral that you see were clearance racks, such as the echinacea. They were dried up, ashy little stubs that I had gotten um early early this year like in february from last season i'll take it um everything back there clearance from a, a big box store i'll take it i will take in i'm like the statue of liberty <laughs> of plants if you will of flowers and you could not when i first started gardening you could not get me to uh, put flowers. I'm like, flowers are a waste of space, blah, 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 blah. I just want all plants. If I can't eat it, I don't want it. Well, then I became interested in medicinal herbs. <sighs> I can't smoke, not those, the smokable ones. Like I have a um, marshmallow plant. I have those, those type of medicinals to include echinacea. And next year, what I want to do I don't want any food in here. Maybe some herbs, but like maybe one area herbs, another area, and the rest of it just flowers. Just make it like a pretty meadow. Those yellow ones in the background, don't know what they are, but they came up and I like them. So that's what inspired me. And I also want to say that I try to buy clearance plants that are perennial. Okay, well, I know I said I was thinking about planting and uh, cleaning out some um, beds and some of the pots and preparing for the fall, but it's hot out here, y'all. I'm super itchy. I'm just, even my knuckles are itchy. Uh, the little chocolate cherry type tomato that I was going to pick to show you felt a little gross and mushy, so I don't really want to pick that up. Uh, and let's see, I think that's it. Please comment below, please. I just need y'all suggestions on what I should do with that raised bed. Is it, um, a good idea to make it like a corn, oak, or tomato bed for next season? Um, what are you planting in your garden? Thank you. Have a great day.